Today I'm introducing Fleet, our distributed init system built on etcd and systemd. Fleet deploys distributed applications on a CoreOS cluster, so that's exactly what I'm going to demo for you. Here at CoreOS, we're using Fleet to deploy a service we call Subgun. It's just a simple web service we host that makes it easier to subscribe to our mailing lists. It's broken into three pieces, an HTTP unit, a presence unit, and a load balancer. Uh, Fleet will automatically distribute our HTTP units across the cluster, while each presence unit will pair up with an HTTP unit and register themselves with an Amazon load balancer. So let's actually deploy the uh, Subgun app. I'm using the Fleet command line tool, FleetCTL, to interact with Fleet running on a few CoreOS EC2 VMs. Let's check out what the cluster currently looks like. Using the list machines command, I can see three instances of Fleet open running. And the list units command tells me there are no units running in my cluster. Since Fleet is built on system D, it naturally uses system D unit files to define services. My HTTP unit simply runs a Docker container that I've already built and pushed to the public Docker index. The options in the X Fleet section define how Fleet should deploy a given unit. The X conflicts line tells the Fleet scheduler that this unit cannot be deployed on the same machine as another subgun HTTP unit. The presence unit also runs a Docker container, but with a different fleet option. X condition machine of tells fleet that the unit must be deployed on the same machine as a given unit. In this case, it guarantees that a presence unit will follow an HTTP unit around the cluster. I've actually got three pairs of these subgun units, so starting them all should result in six units total running across my cluster. And it looks like there are. Uh, you can see that each of the HTTP units successfully paired up with a presence unit. I can also check on the status of an individual unit using Fleet CTL, or I can pull its recent logs. Now if we check on our EC2 load balancer, we should see the three backends added by our presence units. So it's fairly simple to get our application up and running on Fleet, but the real power is the built-in fault tolerance. Since the CoreOS operating system depends on an automatic restart to upgrade itself, Fleet will handle our dynamic cluster membership and minimize application downtime for us. To demonstrate how Fleet handles a dynamic cluster, I need to boot one more CoreOS VM. I can just increment the size of our auto-scaling group by one, which should be reflected in a list machine's response. And adding that fourth machine should not have caused any other changes in our cluster. If I then terminate one of the machines currently running a pair of subgun units, those units should migrate elsewhere. And they did. So here we have a distributed fault-tolerant web service running on CoreOS. Please check out Fleet on GitHub and let us know what you think.